Hello everyone, this is Tosim here, and this is Everoid's E-Rex. This is a uh, transforming model kit that my brother uh, bought me on Amazon. It was like around uh, four bucks, I think. It was cheaper than the other Everoid's model kits. I actually discovered them at uh, Target, but they don't actually sell it in stores. They only sell, sell them online. As a matter of fact, I think the Everwords are probably online exclusives because uh, I don't think they actually sell them in retail stores. And the box is uh, bigger than I expected, too. Um, as you can see on the back, um, they actually show that uh, they uh, start, as a, uh, start as, a, as a brick, which is basically just a, uh, a frame. And it's mostly in Japan, and uh, the box is mostly in Japanese. And you can even see uh, E-Rex uh, fighting, uh, uh, fighting the jet. And uh, they show you the other um, models that they have. And here uh, he, has, uh, he has a bunch of random weapons. They're not actually included in the set. They're probably only included in like some sort of, uh, I don't know, just, just some sort of like weapon pack or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's open it. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got, we got sticker sheets. It's been a long time since I haven't uh, gone the... Um, on the uh, more traditional model kits after honey hunt well yeah after like done them um and uh yeah this is the instructions i believe oh what's this Ooh, it comes with a, a little manga it's all in japanese Oh, there you go. There's the there's the instruction. There's the whole instructions. It's pretty big. And it just shows that there's a uh, there's a green version. Uh, I actually saw the green version on Amazon, and it's and it costs more than the than the red one. And the green version uh, looks like Halo for some reason. I mean, uh, Master Chief. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, here's the model sheets. Comes with like, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Comes with like six model sheets. All right, so uh, let's build them. So all of the Evoroid sets start with a uh, core body, which is just a brick. And you can transform it. But this is all you get. It does not uh, form a full body. So now let's uh, uh, continue the rest of the build. Okay, so I'm finished with the build. So here is E-Rex in robot mode. He comes with an axe. And he also, uh, he also comes with an extra mohawk accessory They can just swap out with the, with the horn And uh, there's still some uh, extra pieces uh, with the two A sets There's no other directions to uh, use them so I guess they're just there in case you uh, you lose the pieces. So, to uh, transform them, bring the tail down, bring the arms back,
split the legs. Rotate the legs. Bring them down. Bring the tail all the way down. Bring the head up. And push the face up. And uh, bring the chest up, which is the, the jaw. And put the jaw all the way up. And then plug in the X. So there is Erex in his dino mode. So for uh, articulation and dino mode, uh, he's got uh, ball joints on the legs ball joints on the feet the mouth can open and his little arms can move and his tail can also uh, go up and down and that's pretty much it in the uh, dino mode so here he is with uh, Honey Honey Zars Rebones Red Dragon. This is the last uh, dinosaur transformer that I got. And uh, he's uh, smaller than uh, Honey Honey Zars Rebones Red Dragon. And what's ironic is that uh, Honey Honey Zars Rebone Red Dragon's box was smaller than E-Rex's box. But yet he's actually uh, taller than uh, E-Rex. Now I think I almost forgot to uh, show the articulation. So for articulation, his uh, wrist swivel, uh, arms on the ball joints, hinge at the elbow, ball joint on the legs, ball joints on the feet, Hinge on the knees, although they barely move. He barely has a waist rotation. Um, you can uh, move his waist piece up a little bit. His head is on the ball joints. You can also move his horns. And you can also uh, uh, put the tail down if you want to have uh, more uh, waist rotation. Now there, now there's actually uh, extra hinges under here, but they're tricky to get out. So you have to use his axe.
yeah, I have no idea what these are for because there's no under directions uh, for the transmission for these. They're just from the core body, so yeah, they don't really do anything for the transformation. They're, they're probably only there just in case if uh, an evil droid model actually uses those hinges. So yeah, you can get some pretty good pose on them. Oh yeah, I also forgot, uh, yeah, he can also uh, uh, move the shoulders too. He has plenty of articulation for a small guy. Took me a little while to build, but it wasn't that bad. And he feels much better than, than uh, Gundam model kits. And that's because these guys are made of ABS and Gundams are made with something else. So yeah, these guys do feel better than Gundams. I might, uh, I might uh, want to get uh, the other Evo, Evo, uh, Evoroid sets in the future. Probably like probably the Lion or or something. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe.